know where to go to from there unless you wanted to continue or we could move on with the rest of the verses, but I have nothing else to add on that verse there. I would like you to point out to the sign. What is the sign? I think that's an important issue right there. What is that sign? Tell us when shall these things be and what shall be the sign of thy coming. So let's focus on the, the, the uh, subject, which is the sign. Uh, he says, the sign of thy coming and the end of the world. So what would that sign be? And uh, Vince, you can come up, since Jerry uh, relinquished that uh, there. Uh, you come up, and I want to hear uh, your uh, view on what would be the sign of the coming. What, what is the sign that uh, he's pointing us to? And then Jerry can come up. Thank you. I'll actually save that for um, probably verse 30. And I'll go ahead and yield the mic if uh, Jerry wants to go ahead and continue in verse 4 or anywhere else. Yeah, thanks. Okay, starting with verse 4, you got your emphatic conjunction, and Jesus, he's a nominative sub subject, he answered. We well, see it's a participle, works as an adjective to modify a pronoun. Uh, the Young's literal translation literally renders it as answering. Answering describes Jesus as he does what he does. It's not used as an adverb to describe said, but what he's doing. And he said unto them, which is a reference to verse 3 of the disciples, because it's in the dative plural case, the indirect object, we know it's talking about the disciples of the context, take heed. And this is where we got to note that he changes the actual mood here into the subjunctive. Take heed, present active uh, imperative, that no, the particle, a negative particle here, that no man, which is a pronoun, it's an enclitic, indefinite pronoun that really means any, or in this case, in this context, it would mean any one, um, which is the nominative singular masculine, that we could translate as man, but the uh, futurist position doesn't 
need to actually change the meaning of the word when we render it as man. So I just wanted to note that deceive, the transitive, uh, as I noted before, it's subjunctive, and the um, pronoun in the second person, you, in the accusative case. Uh, the syntax is a little bit different in English. That's why it, uh, the transitive deceive does have a U at the end of it. But we note that it's actually rendered in the accusative case of the root. It's the direct object of the sentence. Verse 5. Uh, for many shall come. And this is explanatory for what he has already mentioned. For many shall come. Uh, in my name. Saying I. Which is... Um, the first person emphatic the position it being first would emphasize that I and no one else am the Christ so apparently if this was fulfilled there had to have been people who claimed to be the there's a definite article Christ not just any antichrist but some people actually claiming to be uh, Christ returned and shall deceive many and we got to make a point that the word many actually is an adjective it's but it being accusative and functioning as a direct object, we see this consistently, it's uh, going to be used as substantive, and it will act as a noun when we translate it into English. Verse 6, which Jerry got to, and I'm going to go ahead for a sake of time, concede, but we're, um, um, that I'm going to have any different opinion here as, with regards to verse 6, but starting in verse 7, this is what I call the beginning of sorrows. This is how he's defined this uh, four explanatory nation shall rise against nation. And then we're going to see some cumulative parallelism which works to modify the verb shall rise uh, when nation shall rise against nation and kingdom against kingdom and there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places indicative so they very well could refer to specific um, events that could be researched in history where the mood is changed to indicative and we could see some natural historical fulfillment so uh, with regard to these verses I don't have any argument against fulfilled eschatology go ahead and continue with verse 8 or wherever you want to Gary go ahead 